my name's Tamsin and this is how I get my Lola look. So to start off with, I'm getting the Lola Smooth Base Primer and I'm just going to chuck this all over my face. Next, I'm getting the Perfect Cover Cream Concealer by Lola and this I'm basically going to apply to all the parts on my face that look red. Down here I've got a few spots and stuff so I'm gonna cover that with a bit of this. You can do it with a makeup brush but I just find it easier to do it with my finger. They are clean. Just go like this. Basically just dab it on like so. And then I also put a little bit underneath my eyes because green can also help with like violet undertones and my eyes can sometimes get a little bit dark. So I check that underneath that. And then I grab a sponge. So then once you have put the green underneath here you'll look a bit weird for a little while but then just get your foundation and chuck that all over your face but if you look down here all the red bits that i had before you can't see as well so if i was just using foundation they would still show up a little bit and then next i'm getting this lola powder it's a matte one r011 as you can see and I'm just going to put this all over my face. It also comes with a little handy face pattern. So I'm going to use that. And then I'm just going to get a little brush and put it underneath my eyes a bit more concentrated so that I don't lose coverage throughout the day. And over your eyelids. Round the nose. Then I'm just gonna apply some product to my eyebrows to make them stand up quick, so. Next I've got the Lola Makeup Matte Silky Finish Powder and this is in a darker colour than the other powder that I used a minute ago and basically I'm going to use this to contour my cheekbones down here, the nose and up here. Basically anywhere that sun would usually go. As you can see it's a bit darker than the other one. And then if I put it underneath here, it will give the illusion that my bottom lip looks bigger, so that's... I also like how this colour doesn't make me look really orange because I find that with a lot of powders, because I've got really fair skin, it'll either make me look too dark or really, really orange, and I don't want that. So yeah, just defining the jawline, like so. And just getting any areas that I feel like I've missed. And then I've got the same powder that I used earlier and basically I'm just going to use this to make the lines here look a bit more defined. So let's get a brush and pat that in and then a bit more up here. Now I've got the Lola Eye Pencil in Graphite, which is number three, and I'm just going to apply this tiny little bit to my lash line to accentuate the eyes, but not look too dark. And I'm just going to apply it just this little bit here, 
not all the way across, just this little bit here. And then apply it to the other side. Because I can always add more. But I can't take it off. And then a really good thing about this product is that on the other side, it's got a little spongy bit that you can use to blend it in. So there's just a really delicate bit of colour there. For my eyes, I have the Lola Waterproof Mascara, which I'm going to put on my top lashes and a tiny bit on my bottom lashes. The good thing is that it doesn't clump at the end. It's not clumping up here. But by having the grey eyeliner, it's made my eyes look bigger without it being noticeable. Like noticeable that I've done anything. And then a tiny little bit to my bottom lashes. For lips, I'm going to be using the Lola Lip Pencil in shade Cinnamon, which is number one. So I'm going to put this around my lips, not too harshly. I'm going to rub it in with the little brush that's on the other side. So, a delicate lip look. So there you go, that's how I get my Lola look.